Good evening, everybody. Uh, it's been a long spell since I've last done a video or two. This one's not going to be very, very long. Um, this is going to be basically showing you what I have done for my uh, current desktop, which is DWM. It is running 6.3. Um, I decided that since I needed to upgrade, I didn't do what they had, what Suckless had actually mentioned, and that's utilize git um, for version bumps I just like any other silly person would just install from source and just start hacking away and getting it up and running <clears throat> long story short I actually decided that I was going to reinstall fresh and I was going to note the um, the progression of the patches that I applied to DWM in an order which for me uh, produced far less um, manual uh, hacking of the patches so you know this may or may not uh, be of any help uh, to any of you guys out there um, but for me um, it, it did help considerably while there were a good number that didn't require the patching uh, in the order in which I'm going to show you there were still some that did require some manual um, some manual patching um, but like I said it was uh, it was minimal and I think I probably got everything taken care of in under maybe 30 minutes or so so that being said let's go ahead and get into the uh, the DWM folder or directory and what I have done is I simply created a, a directory within my uh, DWM directory called patches and what I did is I noted as I went along let's go ahead and pull that up here hmm. so what I've done is as, as time had went on I documented what I had done there and the process was uh, and since I I don't patch very often, um, little little cheat deal there. But <clears throat> the last time I, I this um, went ahead and, and documented what I did. And so, as you can see in this uh, in this terminal up here, I just took every one of the patches and, and affixed a, a, a digit in front of it in the order in which I patched it. As you can see, I'm running ten patches, um, pretty much the standard, which I think most people most all people will uh, would be wanting to uh, you know install in their DWM probably with the no with the difference being that this one here the no title um, as you can see that does exactly that it does not put any of the the applications that I'm running in the in the title bar up here and I, I like that because I don't need to know depending on what uh, workspace I'm what tag I'm in I can see that what's on the screen so I don't need to be told up here what is what's going on plus it just keeps things a lot neater um, so I'm running um, uh, a combination of uh, DWM bar and some custom scripts along with that for example my Debian package is here this is the battery this here is uh, mail um, it, it, it uh, lets me know when I got mail from my provider this here is just simply trash it lets me know um, I have an alias that I could um, that I can run. I think it's just the letter D and what it does is it moves those uh, uh, directories and files over to that folder and then it just tallies them of course then the, the temperature, the the time, I'm sorry, the, the volume, um, the interface which will um, change automatically depending wired, wired or wireless. I'm using Conman um, for connection to whatever I need to get uh, out to the internet I, I it allows me to not to have any I'm not running a tray so um, I'm able to uh, you know this works well for me and of course the date um, so basically that's it like I said it was going to be a very very short video uh, I'm gonna start being a little more proactive with with dumping some content to my channel um, and if you if anyone can use what I'm doing here um, go ahead and leave some comments and, and I, I realize that I don't have comments turned on I'm gonna go ahead and uh, enable that on my channel um, that's it guys uh, like I guess like I said a short video and hope this helps you out we'll see you next time